Hello, imaginary friend. I'm Vivian Delarose, and we're just gonna jump into this video with no real intro. Get your favorite melting chocolate wafers, put them in your bowl, mix, 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 make sure they're thoroughly melted, and then you're gonna want to grab your uh, mold over here, your little silicone mold, which I will link down below i got mine on amazon and i absolutely love it it is jiggly it is perfection and i highly recommend it so you're gonna make sure your surface is flat and try not to get too distracted playing with it it's very hard not to and you're gonna pour it in slowly and working chunks at a time because you don't want to risk air bubbles i'm going to give it a good squeeze to make sure that the entire mold is covered in chocolate next i'm going to grab my cookie dough that i totally made from scratch martha stewart would be so proud of me and i'm going to roll it out with my very professional um god-given roller um yeah i really couldn't find my rolling pin so i just had to use my hands now i'm gonna grab my cookie cutters i'm using heart shaped ones because they kind of look like butts and that's going to come in handy now for this project i experimented with a lot of different icings i found that the one from the bag works the best so now i'm drawing on my fishnets and I'm not going all the way around because I want to leave room for the underwear and essentially what it'll look like the butt. So all I'm doing here is drawing diagonal lines and then from the opposite corner I'm meeting up still drawing those diagonal lines. And repeat this process however many times you need. All right, now using a different color for the underwear, go around and fill in the space where you didn't draw on the fishnets. Outline and fill in. By no means am I an artist, so just make sure that you're having fun and that you don't take this too seriously. Now, for the strawberries, we're gonna melt that chocolate once again. Make sure your strawberries are washed and very, very dry. You do not want water drops on this or it's going to be a big mess. All right, now at the dollar store, I found these little skewers. Now the little cocktail forks. So just stab them and get to dipping. I would recommend filling up your... Uh, pot with more chocolate than I did here, but I was running low Also, I kind of wanted the strawberries to still have the leaves on them 
but it was just a bigger mess than it was worth so I would just go ahead and take those off now I got a styrofoam little circle so I could stab them in while they dried and you could totally add sprinkles if that's what your heart desires Alright, now for my favorite part. I was actually really nervous about this the first time because I didn't know if this was going to completely rip the silicone or not, but with patience, make sure your hands are washed and very clean for this. We have a butt, we have delivered a butt, and because of the shape of the mold, it wasn't the easiest thing to remove but I didn't end up breaking the chocolate, so that was a good sign. I did go ahead and make a second one of these, and for the one I made for my friend, I made sure to wear gloves. And here she is! looking amazing um yeah i was very very excited i definitely want to buy another one of these so i can make candles <laughs> so grab your box and just start filling it up with all the delicious goodies and this is what it looks like i'm super proud of it i do wish i was better at the strawberries but i'll practice i'll get better However, I'm obsessed with the way these two things came out. Well, my magical friend, I love you with my whole butt. I would say heart, but my butt's bigger. So I will also leave this link down below and it's delicious. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.